What's your purpose in life? Do you ever look out at the infinite ocean or stare up at the stars and the infinite galaxy and realize just how big the universe is and just how small you are? Do you ever stop and ponder? What is the meaning of life? Does my life have any purpose to it? What is your purpose? Does your life have any meaning to it? Do you ever feel like you're on this journey in life and you don't know where you're headed? Is the purpose of your life to make a name for yourself, to be heard, to be seen by millions? Most people spend their whole life chasing money and chasing sexual relationships. But what you find is when you chase after those things, you lose your identity of who you are. And ultimately, you have no true purpose in life. So oftentimes people find out the hard way that your sense of completion isn't found in how much you achieve, how famous you become, how rich and powerful that you become. We all want self-gratification. We want to be liked and accepted. Our self-worth and purpose of living starts to become based solely on how many social media likes that we get. We fall victim to living a life based on our outer self-image, which leads us to live a life of self-comparison, which always leads to depression. If you ever come to believe in God, if you ever come to believe that you were created by God for a purpose, that you're a product of God's love, and that you're called to live a life of significance, if you ever stop and just realize that you were created uniquely by God because God loved you so much that he created you. He knew you before you were even in your mother's womb. He set you apart. He cares so much about the life that you're living. You are a beautiful masterpiece of art created in God's image. You were created in God's image. So therefore you were created to live a life of purpose, to do extraordinary things for God, to do extraordinary things for others. If you give yourself completely to God, you will truly be at peace. Everybody eventually surrenders to something or someone. If you don't surrender to God, you will surrender to something, whether it be your own ego or money or lust or pride or resentment, or fear, or the expectations of others, a sense of unworthiness. You were designed to worship our Creator. You were designed to worship God. Your sense of completion is found in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When Jesus died on the cross for us, He said, It is finished. You have been made new in Christ. You are complete in Christ. You might be saying, well, all this sounds great, but you see, I'm not a religious person. Well, that's okay. You don't have to be a religious person per se. But if I were to ask you, are you a loving person? And you were to answer yes, that you're a loving person. Well, then that means that you're a godly person because God is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. You're complete. You've been set free in Christ. See, you want to be famous and successful, but you're already famous to God. You know, your true friends might celebrate you once a year on your birthday, but God celebrates you every day of your life. You're his child. He loves you unconditionally for all of eternity. He created you to have a relationship with you. You have two paths that you can choose in life. You can either accept God's undeniable love for you through his son Jesus Christ, or you can choose to walk the path alone in life, never having a relationship with God, never having a relationship with our Creator. You can read all the books by all the most popular atheist authors, but what you'll find is any life apart from God is truly no life at all. Anything that your name is attached to 
live your life in such a way that everyone knows that everything you did, you did it to the glory of God. God gives us all different talents to serve others and to glorify God. Don't be afraid to keep unlocking more and more talents. You never know how great you are at something until you try. Once you put your faith in God and you trust in Him wholeheartedly, you start to live a life without fear. You realize that all things are possible in Christ. God's Holy Spirit is inside of you. Do you realize that God, who created all the heavens and the earth, can live anywhere that He chooses? But do you know where He chooses to live? God chooses to live inside of you. Your body is a temple, and you have the Holy Spirit of God inside of you. Your possibilities are endless. You were created by God to dream dreams and visions. If you live a life where you seek the Lord with all your heart, you will find Him. If you live a life where you love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and strength, then you're leaving nothing to chance, never wondering what if. What if I would have done this? What if I would have done that? Seek God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, living a life of purpose for all of eternity. Leave behind a legacy long after you're gone from this earth where people still talk about all the great things that you did for them. That your children's children will live a life of purpose from the foundation that you set for them. For truly I ask you, what is your purpose? Follow us at whatsmypurpose.org as we talk to everyday people all across the world going through the same struggles that you're going through, unlocking their potential and all their talents, and finding their purpose in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. What amazing things is God calling you to do? What is your purpose? To see more purposeful videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and please like us on Facebook to stay connected.